Hey ladies, it's Gutter Trash, episode 158, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. My name is Eric. And I'm Jason. Why, why the ladies? I don't know. Uh, I, this one's for the ladies. This, this lady. one's for the ladies. It's the ladies night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be on my best behavior. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No. The ladies don't like that? No. No. See, I don't know anything about the ladies other than my lady. They like a man who exudes confidence. Oh, yeah. So make sure to smile and laugh. <laughs> well, carrying a scythe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smile and laugh. That is true. Uh, how's it going? No, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Got over my cold. Yeah. The Glad- power of Zycam. Glad one of us has. Oh, I'm sorry. Or whatever it is I have. Pneumonia, AIDS, mm. whatever. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, Zycam doesn't claim to cure either of those illnesses. Right. But that would be awesome if somehow, you know, yeah. that, that would uh, just just work. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's fault. That I'm aware of. Hmm. Hmm. So. Let's get into this. Yeah. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I feel like there's going to be a lot of spoilers. Probably. Maybe we should say, like, if you're planning on seeing this... Go see it first. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things... Yeah, I think it's going to be hard to talk about yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, here we are. You're giving your... Uh, we're into this show about two minutes right now. Uh, yeah, go ahead and pause it. I guess you actually you can stop it. Yeah. You can listen to the first two minutes again. Oh, yeah. It's not going to kill you, you yeah. fuckers. It's ladies' night. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You bitches. Uh, yeah, yeah, bitches. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, if you plan on seeing this. And you should. You should. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and put that out on the table. You should see this movie. Fans of horror movies. Fans of horror movies. Fans of comedy. That's right. Go see this movie. Stop the, the show right now. Go watch it. Come back to us. Come back. Cause we're gonna spoil the shit out of this. Mm-hmm. You right. got your warning. Let's pause a second. Let's listen to my neighbors. I have to pick that up. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so you've been uh, given ample opportunity here. So let's get into this. Right. Yeah. Tucker and Dale versus Evil, starring Tyler Labine and Alan Tudyk. Now, which one of those is the dude from Firefly? Alan Tudyk. Okay. Who was Tucker. Yeah. Uh, Who was he on uh, Firefly? What was his name? He was Wash. Wash. Yeah. I keep wanting to say face. That's the A team. <laughs> <clears throat> Am I even thinking of wash your face? Because I was always told that a lot when I was Maybe a child. You should wash your face. Yeah. Yeah, you probably should. Even wash behind your face. the ears. Oh yeah. I washed my face today. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. I did too. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we're clean. Well, well, it's ladies' night. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta be clean. <laughs> <laughs> gotta look our best. Uh. Yeah, uh, of the Firefly crew, he was definitely not the face representative of that show. You mean like the ladies' man? Uh, he yeah. He was married. Well, he was married. I would say, though, he was more of the uh, Murdoch of the team. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, he was the Murdoch. But but he was reasonable. Oh, he was reasonable, yeah. but he was still lackey. He was no. He, he didn't dress like Captain Cab or anything. Well, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know... If um, you have to assign it. If I had to assign it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jane would be the BA, uh, Baracus, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, And I think Mal uh, kind of fills in both the uh, face and Hannibal. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. totally does. (laughs) Yeah. Hmm. I love that episode of Firefly where Boy George gets started and they had to build a (laughs) tank out of uh, saran wrap and uh, Tinker Toys. No, I might be thinking of a different show. I don't know. There was an A-Team episode with Boy George. Was there? Yeah, well, there wow. really was. <laughs> and did that happen? The tank? Well, they, the, uh... yeah, they, I think they built some sort of uh, tank-like apparatus, but I'm sure they had, like, sheet metal and, like, you know, right, like, tires and, you know, actual tank parts. Right, okay. No Tinker Toys. <laughs> no, no Tinker Toys. That's too bad. Yeah. Uh, no longer interested. Yeah, <laughs> like, if I can't watch Boy George play Tinker Toys, not having it. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> so, you've heard of this movie for a while. Uh-huh. Did, or did you see a trailer for it? Or? Um, no. Hmm. Uh, just, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd. Yeah. Uh, 
I live on the internet. I read things. Yeah. Uh, I've just uh, read nothing but excellent reviews about this movie for like three years, even though it only got released this past Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so what took it so long? Uh, nobody knew what to do with it. They know how to market it. Nope. That's a good sign. Yeah, I guess it's something original. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like this doesn't fit the a mold of a thousand other things. Right. I mean, I honestly can't tell you because I'm not. Uh, I'm not an industry insider. Mm-hmm. You're uh, not. I'm not. Oh. Yeah. I. Uh, huh. I know that's hard to believe. But it is it's true. Yeah. It's true. I. Uh, I don't know what goes on in the heads of uh, people who make movies. Huh. Nor can I guess. I can mm-hmm. only react. So, but the good reviews were coming from like it showed at festivals, probably. Showed at festivals. Uh, won a couple like uh, awards at some different festivals, I think. Uh, there's a website I go to uh, every couple days to read called Horror Movie a Day. I've talked about it before. He reviewed it like three years ago, so that's probably where I first uh, heard of it. Okay. You know, so he was at the a festival or something, probably. Probably, or uh, just uh, I know he gets screeners occasionally. Yeah. Uh. Uh, so yeah, so I've been hearing about this movie for a long time, and everything I've heard about it uh, made me uh, want to watch it. Uh, you know, including the fact that it starred uh, Wash from yeah, Firefly yeah. and uh, Sock from Reaper. Oh, don't know that one. Uh, there's a show on uh, for a while called Reaper. Uh, it starred uh, the character of Dale. Okay, uh, Tyler Labine. Uh, he played a character named Sock. He was pretty fun. He's awesome. Yeah, I'd never yeah. seen him before. Uh, I, guess, I think he's in the new, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. which I also have not seen. No. But, uh, I probably won't. Huh. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I've heard it's good. I've heard it's good too. Hmm. Okay. Um. <coughs> well, yeah, this movie, uh, definitely has, like, all the horror movie, uh, genre things down, down really well. Like, all the, uh, Kids in the Woods. Yeah. Crazy Killer. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, all the sort of cliches of horror movies, uh, sort of, uh, turned upside down. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Too hilarious effect. Oh, it was so funny. I laughed till I cried. I really did. <laughs> like, there was actually one point where I was laughing so hard I couldn't breathe, and I was like, I was like, this could be bad. I might die. <laughs> of asphyxiation while watching this film. Uh, I too experienced, uh, breathlessness. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have any chamomile tea today, did you? I did not oh, have okay. any chamomile okay. tea today. So I do, they, I yeah. do drink a tea. Yeah. Yeah, I had some black tea earlier. I know you're, you know, asthmatic. Yeah. Trump, prone to asthmatic. Yeah. Although I've had chamomile tea before, so, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think that affects me. Hmm. Whatever ingredient that was. Right. I guess maybe it's just something someone's allergic to, maybe? I don't know. Huh. I don't know a thing about chamomile tea. Yeah. I know I didn't like it when I had it. Oh, I love it. I like a black tea. Yeah. Yeah. Mineral gray, a spiced chai, mm. uh, an English breakfast. Ooh. Yeah. I like a green tea. I like a chai tea. <laughs> but, uh, strangely, this entire conversation about tea, totally relevant to the movie. Totally relevant. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of references of chamomile tea in this film. Yes, there are. And it plays a huge role. It's not just like some joke in the background. Nope. Yep. Uh, <coughs> uh, there is a character who is asthmatic, so uh, you know, there's that. Yeah. Yeah. And he is, has an allergy to a to a chamomile tea. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I, I, I don't. Uh, we have to spoil it. We well, have to. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's you can't uh, talk about this movie without spoiling it. Right. Uh, it's basically it's two. Uh, Hillbilly characters who uh, are taking a, a vacation have a uh, run-in with some uh, college kids who are out camping in the woods, uh, and the uh, the college kids basically uh, think that they're psychotic killers lurking in the woods, right? Uh, and then proceed to uh, kill themselves violently <laughs> in order to try to fight. Them. <laughs> yeah, like accident. A lot of accidental uh, accidental suicides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in the it, it's sort of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets Three's Company because it's just like everybody's confused. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> no one's quite sh- like. There's a lot of double entendres and people don't really know what's going on. And right. Things are overheard and misconstrued. And- yeah. 
He really is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so funny though. It's so fucking yeah. funny. That's uh, the funniest movie I've seen in a long, long time. Right. We just watched Stripes. I know, right? Too bad for Stripes <laughs> yeah. that this one usurps it so violently. <laughs> well, I think it's what it is too is, it is a, you know, it's not necessarily like, you know, like funny or jokes or whatever. It's just, it's so... Situations yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, like, what you're seeing, you've seen a thousand times before in, like, very right. serious, like, you know, Wrong Turn and all, all these right, movies. Right. But but they take something that's been done to death and, like, totally switch it around and make right. it amazingly fresh and, you know, original. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, it, I mean... It essentially puts, you know, the, uh, the whole Friday the 13th, you know, kids out on a, on a camping trip, you know, uh, sort of movie and basically makes them the bad guys. Yeah. 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 You're like, you're like rooting for the two guys that are, you know, the two rednecks that are killing everybody. Right, yeah. You're like, you're like, oh, wow. Poor guys. Yeah. Uh, kill those fucking college kids by the end of the movie. You yeah. Know? <laughs> oh. Uh, one thing I did sort of, uh, enjoy is that, uh, the black characters didn't get killed immediately. Right, yeah, they're yeah. some of the last to go. Uh, and the way they die is, uh, almost as funny as, uh, some of the others. At, le- at least the lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, excuse me, my two favorite deaths in the entire movie, uh, one is a very cha- Texas Chainsaw Massacre-like scene, uh, in which, uh, Tucker... <laughs> <laughs> oh is uh, chainsawing uh, a log that happens to have a, a beehive in it and uh, freaks out when the bees start circling him and uh, does his uh, little uh, leather face uh, chainsaw dance. Yeah, like just like at the end of the original yeah, yeah. chainsaw, yeah. Uh, and starts running from the bees uh, while at the same time accidentally chasing one of the college kids with a uh, with a Powered chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was so well done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and then the other one is the, uh, the wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wood chipper scene. That was so good. That was so good. <sighs> I know it's like, I, I just want, <coughs> I just want everybody to watch this movie. Yeah. Know? Yeah. It's like, uh, I, I, I feel weird even talking about it for some reason. Yeah, it's like, cause I kind of it, do too. It's one of those things. It's like, it's it's just perfectly done. It's like, you know, it, you know, you're either gonna love it or you, you know you you're gonna just be weirded out by it. Right. Yeah. Um. But everybody that likes horror movies but also likes comedies, I think, would love it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 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 You're right. I don't. I feel bad for for even spoiling what we've spoiled so far. <laughs> Uh, yeah, people should just see it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess we can try to talk about it without spoilers. Well, I mean... I mean, it's so hard, though. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is, like... Because the entire thing is, you know, it is, like... Like like we said, it's just that all the tried-and-true uh, things from all the horror movies, but it's just watching them unfold is the fun part, you right, know, yeah, because yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it unfolds in a completely different way than you're used to seeing it. Yeah, and the guy's so nice. The hillbillies are so nice. It makes me wonder if in some of those movies, you know, what you never really hear from Leatherface. Maybe he is a nice guy. You know, <laughs> he doesn't know. You know, yeah, yeah. And Jason. I mean, a lot of things you hardly ever see things from his point of view. And well, actually, Kingdom. you kind of do sometimes. Only when no, he's like approaching that. people. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Maybe he's, you know, singing to them or something. He's, you know, <laughs> he's warming up his larynx when he does that. Oh man! I think ultimately what you're saying is that this movie has a positive message. Yeah. To not judge people. It really does. Yeah. And to, and to go for what you want in life. Yeah. Because it won't just fall in your lap. Right. And smile because girls like that. <laughs> smile and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that's when I knew this movie was going to be hilarious. Whenever, uh, the first time someone smiles and laughs in this film, I almost lost it. <laughs> it was so amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, wow. I want this movie to do really well. 
Yeah, it deserves it. I think uh, it has gotten a lot of hype, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, just over the fact that it did spend three years sort of just meandering, and uh, I know it had a uh, sh- very small theatrical release and had a video-on-demand release as well. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's built some hype. It's built a lot of goodwill and a lot of press. So, yeah, I think it'll do all right. So, I know you said re- originally you didn't see a trailer, but have you ever recently now seen a trailer for yeah. that movie? I'm curious, like, how it exactly it's built. Like, if it starts out looking like a horror movie and, like, they reveal that it's a comedy. Or, right. Or, like, if there's, like, one trailer where it's obviously a comedy and one trailer where it kind of just looks like a horror movie. Or, right. I'm curious. But there's a trailer on the the disc. Oh, we can uh, go look at that during the break, I guess. Oh, yeah. Right. We'll do that. Uh, oh, excuse me. Although, you know, it does seem like something... Like, if I had bought this movie, it doesn't seem like something I would just, like, you know, kind of watch by myself every once in a while. Right. It seems like something I would watch every time someone came over that I was like, have you ever seen this? And if they right, said right, no, yeah. I would watch it every single time with, with someone who'd never seen it. But right. it doesn't... It doesn't feel like something I would just be like, I'm, you know, I'm drawing or I'm cleaning the house. I'm going to put on Tucker River. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get that. I, I totally get that. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, will watch this again with someone else who hasn't seen it. Right. Because you know, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I think it's kind of like a, uh, maybe like a Shaun of the Dead or something like that, you know. Uh, it's definitely in that category. Fido yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Army yeah. of Darkness, even. Well, I would say it's, it's, uh, yeah, there are just certain movies, I think, that, uh, you know, maybe low-key enough that a lot of people haven't heard of it, and then, you know, you want to, like, introduce it to a bunch of people. You know? Right. Yeah. Share the love. Right, yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely going to survive as a, as a beloved cult movie. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. It deserves it. It totally deserves it. <coughs> and, I mean... Like, you know, and like we said, you know, it's fucking hilarious. Like, we both, we both feared for our lives because of the, <laughs> the comedy. It was brutal. But, I mean, it's also really bloody and, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, maybe not like, you know, dead alive, but I mean. No, yeah. But, but it's, I mean, it's definitely a horror movie. It has all the oh, horror yeah. movie. I mean, there's some crazy death scenes and, <laughs> you know, some really, really well done, uh, horror motifs. Right. Um. Oh, what, what? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I thought your head was about to explode. No. Uh, I'm just trying to, to trying to think about things about this movie to, to say, because cause I think I'm going back on the whole spoiler thing. I don't really want to spoil it. Yet. You don't want to spoil it too much? Yeah. It's hard to unspoil. We've spoiled. Well, we've spoiled a couple things, but yeah, I think nothing too bad, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all about watching it unfold. You don't want to... Right. You, if you knew every single thing that was happening... Right. Every, you know, uh, 180 that this movie does when you expect it to go a certain way. Right. It would not be as fun to watch, so. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, if you just have a familiarity with horror films, uh, and like you can, like when certain elements get introduced, I think you can figure out where they're gonna go. Right. Uh, and this movie will definitely, you know, surprise you with the direction it actually takes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and there was even a couple things I thought would play in a lot heavier like uh um you know there there's the the cabin they move into obviously was owned by someone a little creepy before them right right and uh and there was like a bunch of newspaper clippings tacked to the wall that had like you know teen bodies found and slain right. and i thought that would factor in a lot heavier where uh you know someone would notice those and and freak out right and uh think that you know tucker and dale were the ones that put those up i mean so i mean some of the stuff they don't you know, it's not so obvious that every single thing is broadcast, to, you know, down the road. Right. Uh, there are some weak parts to this movie, too, I think. I think, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the one of the final reveals of the movie is a little sort of, uh, you know, tacked on, I felt. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't want to spoil it, but, uh, you know, it reveals, it reveals something about one of the characters that uh, I thought was a little, eh. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> but at the same time, it's not sloppy either, because, you know, it's sort of built up, you know, to that point, I guess. So they had to sort yeah. of... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, I don't think it worked all the way they thought it would. Right. Uh, it certainly doesn't, you know, deter from any of the enjoyment of right. the film. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Not at all. 
I, didn't, I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, I'd heard of it. I'd heard you talking about this movie. Right. Um, but I, I didn't know that this is what this was. Right. You know, I, did, I hadn't seen the trailer either, and I hadn't really heard much about it. Yeah. So I just thought it was going to be a fun, like, a fun, weird action comedy. Right. I didn't, I didn't realize it was so, like, steeped in horror. Right. So this was a nice surprise. I think, uh, for me, I've been trying my hardest anyway to, uh, avoid things. You know, like, once I figure out that this is something I want to read or watch, I won't watch a trailer, I won't look at previews, you know, just because I want to go in as fresh as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, like, even the reviews that I've read, I've usually just sort of skimmed to, uh, you know, read that, hey, this person really liked this movie, or, right. you know. You don't want to know too much about Right. Because I think... The workings of it. Yeah. I think, uh, I really think The Dark Knight uh, just sort of ruined me for that kind of thing. Right. You know, I just had such, so much of an overload on that movie that, you know, I had no choice. You read, like, a hundred reviews of it before well, it Well, like, I wasn't even looking for it, but, you know, it was just there. And right. it's like with Dark... Uh, the new one, uh, Dark Knight Rises. It's like, I already feel like I know so much about that movie, and it's not even out for, like, another year and a half. Yeah. You know, I just, uh... <laughs> I just kind of... I'm tired already. You yeah. know, like, I don't... I, like, I've already decided that I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know anything about it, which is amazing, because working at Mavericks, you'd think people would be talking about it all the time, but... Right. I've only heard a couple people mention it. Like, when the the, like teaser trailer came out, right. and then I've heard this week everybody's all crazy excited about Mission Impossible because it has a, right. a long trailer. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like the first six minutes of the movie, uh, which is what they did with uh, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, they you know, showed the whole bank heist scene uh, before some movie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think it may have been I Am Legend. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I'm already just sick and tired of seeing pictures <laughs> and people's theories about the plots. And, no, uh, I'm just yeah. I've already decided I may not ever see that movie. Yeah, just never go to those websites. Uh, well, I that's where I it's comic websites. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I, I don't know. I, I would love to get off the internet. <laughs> I would love to. It's hard. Not your fault. Hmm. No, so it's hard. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Least, sorry. No. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't spoil this one for yourself. Yeah, because you seemed to really enjoy it as well. Oh, I did. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I knew sort of the basic premise. I knew that it was a horror comedy. Mm. Uh, you know, I knew that it was basically hillbillies uh, attacked by college kids. <laughs> 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 they just wanted to fish and drink PBR. Yeah, you know, nothing wrong with that. And, and fix up their summer home. Right. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened to Leatherface. Yeah. And, uh, Chrome Dome or Hot Plate or whatever his name is. The guy from Texas Chainsaw. The other guy. Uh, Chop Top. Chop Top. Yeah. I was confused because there's a horror movie with a character called, uh, Chrome Skull. Chrome Skull? Yeah. Wow. What movie is it? Laid to Rest. Yeah. There's a Laid to Rest too. Hmm. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Never seen it. I'll probably see it sometime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to, there's nothing else I really want to say about this movie. Yeah. It's, it's so, it's, it's so, hilarious. Uh, it's bloody as shit. Uh, some excellent performances yeah. from, uh, Alan Tudyk and Tyler Labine. Uh, the girl is really good in it. Allie, whatever her, uh, real name is. The character's Allie. The character's Allie. Her real name is Katrina Bowden. Uh, she is on 30 Rock. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, the uh, douchebag uh, college kid is really he, good. He was really good. Yeah. yeah, he reminded me a lot of someone I've I've met actually. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? No, no, okay. yeah. no one in this room. Yeah. Uh, uh, it shot really well. Um. That's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, all the woodsy scenes and yeah. the lake and everything. I mean, yeah. it's, some of it you can tell is a set, like some of the fishing areas probably, but. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice. Yeah. Uh, like the, uh, the flashback scenes that were sort of in a, like a sepia tone oh, yeah. uh, format. Yeah. <laughs> and they were hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pump up the jam. <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago, people were rocking out Pump Up the Jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> 
So yeah, uh, just yeah, recommended. Go see it. Tucker and Dale. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Good stuff. Do it up. Good stuff. Take a break. Yeah. Right, want to go watch the trailer? I do kind of want to watch the trailer. All right. Welcome back to Gutter Crash. Hello. What's up? Oh, not much. We uh, we just went and watched the uh, the trailer for uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Yeah. Um, we did. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that that trailer spoiled far more than we ever it really did, did or could have. I was really surprised at how much they showed. Yeah. I mean, not that it's every, like, laugh or trick in the... In the in the in the book, because right. I mean, a lot of the laughs come from like the build up, and like this is just like the uh, you know the the reveal or whatever. Right. But they revealed they, a lot of the things in the trailer. Yep. Surprising. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it does at the beginning try to. It really does have that sort of feeling of that. Oh, this is a horror movie. It's like just like wrong turn. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then about like a third of the way through, they reveal that, you know, it's a wacky comedy, and yeah. then they spoil the shit out of the movie for yeah, the rest of it. that is crazy. I mean, I guess they have to get people interested, but... Right. But, yeah, they they just showed a little too much, I thought. I think so, yeah. And that's kind of the, uh, the way trailers have went a lot in the last few years, though. Yeah. I mean, you just see the whole movie. Yeah, pretty much. It's upsetting. That's uh, probably why I've been trying to avoid trailers for as much as I can. I don't blame you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And it looks like there's a lot of bonus features on the uh, the disc, so yeah. rush out and buy it, kids. At least on the blues, right? Yeah. I don't know about the DVD. That's true. Yeah. Or the VHS. Or the VHS. <laughs> um, My friend and I, were uh, we were at uh, the K's Mart. 
Oh, uh, nice. This past Friday. Uh, I was there against my will. I'll uh, point that out <laughs> right now. But while we were there, I figured, hey, let's walk around. Uh, we're in the electronics section, and do you know that they still make blank VHS tapes? Really? And they're incredibly fucking expensive for the fact that they are completely outdated. Oh, my gosh. Is like, porn still shot on VHS? Uh, maybe. I don't know. But huh. uh, you'd, you'd think they would go digital. Yeah. Uh, all I know is that you can buy a six-pack of six-hour blank VHS tapes for, like, Eleven dollars. Wow, that seems absurd. Yeah, it should be like four dollars at <laughs> yeah. most. Yeah, because you can just keep taping over that stuff. Yeah, you can just use one you already got. <coughs> I would say huh. most people have uh, DVRs. Yeah, or just don't bother taping anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's surprising that they even still have those. I thought the only place you could buy them now are thrift stores because mm-hmm. sometimes you'll see like a little plastic bag full of VHS tapes. Right. Yeah, wow. so I just thought that was weird. Seems like something Kmart would try to yeah. keep alive. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> they get the little Caesar's pizza and the blank VHS tapes. Yeah, yeah. Blue light special, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, there are standalone little Caesars out there. Are there oh, still? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Actually, I think there's one in Xenia. Yeah, there is uh, one about uh, a couple blocks away from your lady's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one here in Kettering uh, next to the family video. Really? Oh, uh-huh. okay. Did not notice uh, that. Uh, Dorothy. Mm. Tord Schroyer. I used to love Little Caesars when I was younger. Yeah, me but, too. But uh, last, like, eight times I've had it, not so great. It's not great. No. Not at all. No. Something happened. Well, yeah. I mean, I think they must have changed something because they started, I mean, they're super cheap now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think that... Hey, you can buy a large one topping for, like, $5. Yeah. There. Do you still get two? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, he used to get two pizzas for the price of one. You couldn't just get one. Nope. That was like the ongoing joke in the commercials. Yep. Like some Boy Scout leader's like, well, then we'll pay for two. And they're like, right. well, then we'll give you four. And he's like, then we'll pay for four. Yeah. Like, well, then we'll give you eight. Keep going. <laughs> I, I, don't, I can't count any higher than that. <laughs> Do you have a calculator? I think uh, there's one on my phone. Uh, no, I have my phone with me. Yeah. And, uh, I can't, uh, can't turn on the computer's calculator yeah. right now. Oh, thanks for... Uh, Airing out my dirty laundry that I can't multiply past uh, eight. Well, <laughs> had to be revealed at some point. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Google the trailer if you don't mind just spoiling everything other than yeah. what we already mentioned. Yeah, pretty much. I did watch another good movie this week. Ooh. I watched Pay It Forward with uh, Helen Hunt, Kevin Spacey. And the kid from Sixth Sense? Yeah. I forget his name. I'm pretty sure you are the only person who has ever used the words, I watched a good movie, pay it for. <laughs> <laughs> um, my girlfriend ended up with a DVD copy of it somehow. And she gave it to my mom because okay. she was like, ooh, I have a copy of Pay It Forward. This right. can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like something Jason's mom would like. Right. And she did. We we watched it together, and I liked it too. Mm. I think I even teared up at one point. Yeah. You also like Big Bang Theory too. I kind of like That's Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Possibly one of the worst shows on television. <laughs> I will not argue that. I just <laughs> like it. It's bad. It's formulaic and not awesome. <coughs> but I can't stop watching it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was it was good. I didn't even realize Helen Hunt was in it. I love Helen Hunt. Really? Why? She's great. Mm. She's a great... Mm. What's wrong with Helen Hunt? It's Helen Hunt. Oh, I like her a lot. I think she's awesome. But yeah, it was good. It was a good movie. It was no Tucker and Dale versus Evil. No. They don't take Nothing any... They don't spin a genre on its, on its ear. <laughs> but, but it was good. Don't recommend it to you, sir. I would never yeah. watch it. <laughs> You'd veto? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Really? I vetoed it a long time ago when it came out. Well, like, uh, uh, you know, I didn't pick it, though. Like, I didn't even know what the fuck a podcast was. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw a trailer for that movie, and I said, oh, veto. <laughs> and you're like, what does that mean? <laughs> you're like, huh, I just had the urge to say that. <laughs> Future me. <laughs> Whispered in my ears. Mm. And it's heartwarming. It's very heartwarming. Yeah. Uh, can't remember the kid's name. I wanted to say Macaulay Culkin, but that's not him. Haley Joel Osment. There you go. Yeah, yeah he was good. He's yeah. a good actor. Yeah. 
He he uh he was getting six cents. And uh Forrest Gump. He played Lil Forrest. That's one of your favorite movies. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so yeah, other than the, those movies, I don't think I've watched any other films lately. You? Yeah. Uh, I watched a film about a week ago called Severance. Uh, uh another horror comedy, uh, about, uh, backwoods hillbillies killing people. Ah, it's a theme. It is a theme. Only this time they were British. Oh, <laughs> I like British people. Yeah. Well. The killers were Russian or something like that, but the uh, the victims were all British. Oh. Except for one American. Hmm. I don't think I can watch British people die. Really? Yeah. yeah. I find it's just as easy to watch them die as it is uh, Canadians or Americans. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, well then I'll try it. In fact, I can probably safely say I have seen almost every nationality die in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, cross that off your bucket list. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Severance. I think you may have told me about that one. Yeah, I think yeah, you told me about yeah. that one. It sounds uh, good. It sounds pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was okay. I mean, not the best movie ever, uh, but I was entertained for the most part. Uh, the the uh, lead actor in that movie. Uh, I've seen three other, or I total with Severance. I've seen three movies with that guy in the past six months. And which involves him going to some, uh, rural, wooded region, and then terrible, terrible shit happening. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, of those movies that I have seen, this, uh, is in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was the best one? Uh, the best one was called Doghouse, mm-hmm. in which he and a group of guys go out into the middle of the woods for a guy's weekend, and they come across a town where all the women have turned into zombies. Uh, Severance, uh, which is the middle one, uh, the one that I just saw, uh, is about a group of, uh, office workers going to the woods for a team building exercise where, uh, Russian psychopaths, uh, kill them because they work for a particular corporation. And then, uh, the worst one was, uh, where he and, uh, Scully from the X-Files go to the middle of the woods and, uh, get the shit beaten out of them and raped. By a bunch of rednecks, and then uh, they uh, take their revenge. That one's not a horror comedy, right? Uh, that's not a horror comedy at all. So it sounds like the horror comedies are a little bit better. Oh, like, yeah. They're yeah. a little fresher, a little more interesting. Yeah. You can have more fun watching them. Uh-huh. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the other one, uh, Closure, was uh, not fun at all. Yeah. Uh, not only was it not fun, it was just bad. <clears throat> not a winning combination. Nope. No. Because I can deal with fun or with with uh, an unfun movie as long as it's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because uh, I don't mind being uncomfortable while watching a movie, All right? Yeah. Like Requiem for a Dream, or yeah. Something. Except yeah. for that movie, yeah. it turned out to be awful too. <laughs> <laughs> Upon rewatch, yeah. I like the refrigerator scene where it's alive. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Um, um, I read Infinity Gauntlet this week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh when it was over as a bonus like i didn't realize this was in the bag because my friend jeremy hi jeremy he loaned me uh the infinity gauntlet miniseries because i had mentioned that I'd, i've never read it for some reason i've like, never read it it's 20 years old and we've never read it nope. it's a classic huh? um it was all right it was a no- classic <laughs> no <laughs> it was no secret wars um <laughs> but it was in that you know that vein no oh, you thought i was trying to be funny that's sad <laughs> I love to see it, but but it was kind of neat because I mean it had this element where uh, Thanos is just really trying to impress Death, the female Death. Like I didn't want to say Lady Death, <laughs> no, not her, the one with the giant tits. No, yeah. no, no, no giant tits. Brian Polito, evil Arnie. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Lady Death. No. Thanos loves Lady uh, Death. Okay. No, this one's much. She has much more chastity than the <laughs> the one you're speaking of. Um, she's from the land of Purgatory. Um, mm. <laughs> The red winged uh, demon chick. Yeah. Uh, evil earning, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, one, that yeah. One, yeah. <laughs> uh, not Purgatory, which is an amazing name, by the way, because I love puns. Purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> Say it with me, everyone. Purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was good. I mean, 
it just wasn't like I, I think if I would have read it, you know, when I was a kid and then reread it, I would still would like it, mm. just like I did Secret Wars. Right. But it was Thanos was obsessed with impressing death, and uh, he was like, he was like a, uh, <clears throat> you know, like an ignored. Uh, Seventh grader who you know right. wants to date the cheerleader, and he was just bummed out the whole time, and he's just trying to impress her by all the shit he can do with his Infinity Gauntlet. And, right. I mean, it just kind of got old. Like, I think it would have been all right if it would have been like a prestige format one shot, or maybe a three issue miniseries. But it was right. six issues and just got kind of old, repetitive. Yeah. Right. Like, and like, yeah, like and he would get it taken away, and then he would get it back, and right. it was just like, ah, come on. Um. And then, as a bonus, though, in the back was uh, he had included a what if issue. What if the Silver Surfer had the Infinity Gauntlet? And that was actually pretty good. Yeah, probably uh, because it was a one issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think I enjoyed that as as much, if not more, than reading the entire series. Right. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I read it. Just yeah. glad we didn't pick it for review because after you said you were thinking about doing that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because like I, I think we've talked about it now for two and a half minutes and. I think I would have been done. That was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that not that I had much more to say about the movie today, but this was like you know not because I wouldn't want to spoil the Infinity Gauntlet. There's just right nothing really to say about it. Yeah. Good guys win at the end. They do. Yeah. You so you did read it. Uh, yeah. well, like I, I think I may have mentioned this to you as because you stopped in Mavericks after I'd read the first like three issues right. and I read the rest like after I saw you and uh, much much like we talked about on. The previous episode, uh, the Defenders, the Defenders one. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this one starts out like on page five of the first issue. Doctor Strange is just like chilling in his, uh, you know, sanctorium. And I was like, oh no, someone's gonna break in. <laughs> and seriously, like before the end of the page, he's like, what's that noise in the attic? And like, <laughs> someone's broken in. It's like, man, he really just needs to get like either bars in the windows or right. like, a, like an alarm or something. Brinks, man. He needs yeah. to get a landline and yeah. call Brinks. Yeah. <sighs> Pardon me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a motif that, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. is like beaten to the ground. Poor Doctor Strange and his failed security system. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, I read a couple extra issues of, uh, Casanova. Oh, yeah. Uh, this week, uh, the new, the new series? No, the uh, the following the uh, okay. uh, the one that we just reviewed, G- Gula, Gula, yeah. Because uh, why would I read the new series when I haven't caught up? Oh, I thought you'd read the Gula as well. No, not yet. Mm-hmm. I was reading them. Huh? That's what I'm saying right now. Huh? Is that I have been trying to read them. Oh. the Gula, the Gula. <laughs> I don't own the new one yet because, as I mentioned last week, they're fucking expensive. Yeah, they're twice as much as they should be, right? Yeah. Or as much as they get used to. It's like that whole drug dealer thing. Like, yeah. Here, here's the first one. Real cheap kids. Of course. Well, with this, it was the first 14. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's not their fault. They just, they moved it over to Marvel. Yeah. And they want, they want all extra cash. <sighs> Fucking Marvel. And I bet they put way more ads in this issue, too. Oh, in, I bet. In the yeah. Marvel one. I'll buy them eventually, because I do like the series. I'm tired of supporting Marvel. Who do you like better drawing that series? Uh, Gabe Ba. Ba? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Fabian Moon is bad. I think he's great too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Fabian. Uh, Gabriel Ba is, is much better, I think. Okay. He, he's my favorite of the two. Much better suited for that series or just in general as an artist? I think it's just in general as an artist. Okay. Yeah. I think it just comes down to a style thing. Right. Uh, I think, you know, they're, they're both fantastic, but I like the style of Gabriel Bob better than I like Fabio Moon. Gotcha. See, I, I know I've read something that Fabio Moon drew. Okay. Pixu. Yeah, Pixu. Yeah. But I can't really remember, right. uh, what I liked and disliked about his art, but I do love Gabriel Bob. Yeah. He's amazing. I don't think there's anything to dislike about Fabio Moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's more brush strokey. Okay. Uh, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not as energetic, it maybe doesn't flow as well, uh, but, you know, it's, it's, I mean, they're good, just in different ways. No, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll pick it up, I'll pick up a Gula trade. You should. I actually ordered it for the store because I noticed we'd sold out of both of them, yeah. and, uh, and I talked it up after we reviewed it, I talked it up at work, and this guy was like, oh, I'll take a first trade <coughs> and give me one. Nice. So, we sold one. Sweet. File 57, Joe Craven. 
That guy. You know that guy? I do. Yeah, yeah I don't know him, but uh, he used to work at Mavericks for, yeah, for yeah. a short while, and he yeah. used to work at GameSwap for a little while as well. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I, I've, uh, I don't know, not, not much else has gone on. I've been sick. Yeah, we've both been sick. Uh, I had to, uh, had to travel to Indianapolis for a, uh, a week. It's no good. Which was, uh, not a lot of fun. Uh, almost got stuck in a snowstorm on the way back, which is way the fuck too early for this shit to be happening. No. I am not a fan of the snow. You saw something crazy on the way there? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. Uh, we weren't even out of Dayton yet, and something crazy happened. Uh, car, like, two car lengths ahead of us. Uh, we were on one highway, uh, I-70, uh, just before I-75, like, seriously, I could see, like, the off-ramps for I-75, right. like, about a half a mile away. Um, this car ahead of us, it seemed like, it seemed like he was in the fast lane and suddenly realized that he needed to get off on that exit. Uh, so he basically, it looked like he cut across all lanes of traffic. Uh, didn't hit any cars, no other cars were involved, but he f- somehow spun out and flew into the guardrails on the side of the highway and then did a 360 roll uh, <laughs> over the guardrails and landed on top of it. That sucks. Yeah. And then from that point on, my dad didn't go above 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would that would re- make me rethink my speedometer. Yeah. My speeding habit. But, like, it was just raining, and it was, like, 45 degrees outside, so, you know... It- it's not like it was snowing and icy or anything like that. It was just... Yeah, that slick pavement. I mean, I swear, people... And, and, and you know, you, like you said, you think the guy survived. It looked like... I, I think so. He yeah. was, like, yeah. moving around. There. Um, so, if anybody was wondering. Right. Nobody wonders. Nobody cares. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think people drive in, in like, rainy weather just like it's you know, nothing. Nothing, yeah. And then, you know, like, they'll drive, like, five miles an hour in the snow, and it's like, you know, it's, you know... This is a lesson you can learn here on Gutter Trash. Yeah. Ladies, because it's ladies, isn't it? Um, drive sensibly in the rain. Yeah. You know, the only time I've ever had any sort of traffic mouth, you know, like accident or malfunction when I was driving was, uh, on slick pavement after it rained. Yeah. I, uh, was driving onto, I was like going down 35 and I was getting onto 75, uh, north. Yeah. And I took I took this uh ramp just like you know going regular 65 yep. and my car just slid right off of the pavement and crashed on the guardrail yep. and uh it was like stuck there as I mean it's just this tight one lane and like it was so scary cuz I had to wait until all the cars stopped going by me like semis and right there's not much room there it's just like yep. one little lane yeah and uh I kept expecting the semi just to like slide over into me and I was like oh my god this is horrible luckily I just drove away and there's no damage yeah um but yeah yeah, it's craziness. Yeah, uh, I mean, I would say, I don't know, uh, yeah, I mean, people should be careful in the rain, but I think, uh, some people, yeah, act like it's nothing, uh, when they should maybe be a little more cautious, but then I think some people are way too cautious in the rain, when it's not that bad. Mm. There's like a middle ground. Oh, yeah. Uh, Find the middle ground. Yeah. The Buddhist way to drive in the rain. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, with snow, it's like everybody freaks out. Oh, and, five miles an hour, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down Woodman. And, you know, again, I understand caution, and uh, I totally want to be cautious when I'm driving in the snow, but uh, you can do better than five you, miles an hour. And so you also yeah. want to get home that night. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that said, like, one of the only accidents I've ever had was in the snow. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like a bad snow, and I was driving to work, and this is before I was carpooling. Uh, and, uh... Previous day, uh, well, the the day that this happened was actually Valentine's Day, uh, <coughs> uh, but the previous day, like it had snowed incredibly bad, and so I just didn't go to work. Right. And I was like, I'm gonna go to work today, and uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and I'll leave like an extra hour early to make sure that I can, you know, drive slowly and make it there. Uh, I was on 6:75, and. I was doing maybe 30 miles an hour, because, uh, like, the, the roads weren't paved or anything yet, uh, or, you know, plowed. Cleaned, right. Right. Uh, and then just suddenly I lost control of the car, and I started spinning, and I spun across all three lanes, uh, forward and then back, 
That's scary. And uh, landed in a ditch. <laughs> You're like a little boomerang. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Uh, luckily, since it was 5 o'clock in the morning, no one else was on the road. Uh, but also, no one else was on the road, so I was stuck, stuck there. in a ditch. Right? Yeah. And I couldn't get out. Uh, it was just too much snow to get through. Oh, man. Uh, finally, around 7 o'clock or so, a guy, and this was like before I even had a cell phone, so like, I couldn't call anyone or anything. Oh, wow. Uh, finally, a guy like stopped, and uh, he had uh, chains, and he pulled me out of the ditch and uh, pulled me across the highway uh, underneath a bridge. Uh, wow. And then, like, as he was doing that, like, a couple of cops came by, uh, and they, uh, you know, once uh, everything was settled, they gave me a ride to, like, the nearest McDonald's or whatever, and I was able to call people. Wow. <laughs> they didn't take it you, did they? No. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> while we were driving there, they're like, so, uh, you're all right and everything? I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing was, like, once we got the car off to the side of the road, that's when I noticed that all four tires were completely burst. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, bonus. Yeah, bonus. Uh, <laughs> but they were, they were driving me and, uh, they're like, so you're, you're all right and everything? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's like, there wasn't any other cars involved or anything. I'm like, no, no, it's just me. It's like, well, do you want to file an accident report or anything? It's like, no, no, I'm good. And they're like, oh, that's good because usually, you know, when people do that, they usually wind up getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's like some little trick that he had. Yeah, yeah. Pulled. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like they get arrested because it was their fault? And I guess they yeah. were basically calling attention to the fact that they uh, did something. Who yeah. knows? I don't know. I didn't ask. Once he said that, I was just like, I don't know. It's a thing. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Right and by that point, it was like almost nine o'clock. <laughs> and, uh, I just wanted to call someone to come and get me. Here. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, good advertisement for a cell phone, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that spring is when I got my first cell phone. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, one of my friends at the time, he was just like, you know, yeah, I don't know if I if I see someone on the side of the road, I just assume that they have a cell phone and they've already called for oh, help. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. I've only ever stopped once, and the guy was, like, pissed off that I stopped to help him. <laughs> <laughs> this was, like, two winters ago, and... Yeah, I was just like, okay. He was just like, I don't need any help. Get out of here. I was like, all right, buddy. <coughs> I was like, you just ruined it for the rest of America. Yep. Because now I'm no longer stuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bam. Bam. Yeah, uh, not much else has gone on. Yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty dull. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's how we roll here in Dayton, Ohio. It is. Um, well, um, sorry, Joe. Um, I guess do you want to call it a night? Yeah. yeah. Pick a comic here. Yeah. I've had a doozy of a time trying to find a comic <laughs> to pick. Sound like Tucker. We've uh, had a doozy of a day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe not quite a doozy then. Yeah. Uh, you're like, you know, people kept killing themselves in front of me when I was trying to pick a comic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a couple of books in mind, but, uh, I don't think I could have read them in time. Because it's sort of, uh, I was picking it last minute, and, uh. <coughs> I've been sick, so I've been sleeping a lot. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, you know, plus. Other things that have happened in my life, but, uh, uh, so I finally picked a book that, uh, cause I had originally picked one book that, uh, I was like, alright, this is the book that I'm gonna pick, and five minutes later when I finished reading it, I was like, that <laughs> took a little too quickly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this 96. Talking about, talking about from hell there. Right, yeah, yeah this, uh, 96 page graphic novel that took about five minutes to read. Yeah. It's disappointing. Yeah. Especially if it costs. 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, luckily I only paid half price for it, so, yeah, uh, that helped. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I figured, yeah, well, I'll pick that. Uh, so I picked another book, which, uh, roughly the same size, took about, uh, four times as long to read. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I figured, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick that. Uh, it's a book I've read before. Uh, uh, it's, uh, by a writer whose work we've, uh, reviewed here a couple times already. Ooh. I am picking a book called The Fall 
by Ed Brubaker with art by Jason Lutz. Oh, okay. Lutz. The Fall. The Fall. Okay. Brubaker and Lutz. Huh? Yeah. It is a, uh, it was originally serialized in Dark Horse Presents. This is the trade paperback of it. I have never read this. Right. Cool. Sweet, dude. Yeah. And you've already read it? Yeah. So I can take it with me? You can take it with you. Sweet. Something to read yeah. tomorrow night. Yeah, it'll probably take you one day to read. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Sounds good. Is right. that is that the guy, Jason Lutz? Is he the guy that did, uh, like, Berlin? Is that that guy? I don't know. Okay. I thought Jason, Jason did Berlin. No, that's a different guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't remember it's who it is. L-U-T-E-S? Yeah, I think that is him. Okay. I think. I don't know. Uh, huh. Cool. I'll, no- I'll, I'll notice, I'll know when I see his art. Okay. Well, that's cool. All awesome, right. dude. Awesome. Right. So we good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's call it an evening, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Go uh, go watch Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Yeah, you should. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. You can subscribe to Gutter Trash at iTunes or directly at guttertrash.net. If you go to iTunes, please leave us a review. You can email us at eric at guttertrash.net or jason at guttertrash.net. For more info, you can find us on Facebook. Or you can go to seanborn.net or buyerbeware.guttertrash.net. Listen to our sister podcast, League Night, at league.guttertrash.net. Thank you for listening. Until next time. <laughs>